What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the latest release by Marvelous Decks. This is going to be the Blue Hummingbird Feathers deck. And I'm also going to reveal the winner of last week's giveaway video, the Genesis deck by Cardvo. So make sure you guys stick around to figure out who the winner of that deck will be. Going back to the Hummingbird Feathers deck by Marvelous Decks. This deck does come in three different colorways, as I mentioned earlier. It comes in blue, red, and purple. And then each one of these decks also comes in a gilded version, where the gilding matches the card back color. Also, don't forget to check out my review of the Gilded 2020 decks, also by Marvelous Decks. Uh, this is a really nice deck that they did. Great custom court cards. Really love the tuck box, the gilding, everything. Absolutely gorgeous. The link for that video is going to be up in this right-hand corner, so make sure you guys go check that out. Those decks are still available for sale. Uh, I believe the non-gilded versions are still available for sale on the website, MarvelousDecks.com. Link is also going to be down in the video description below. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the uh, the deck unboxing and review. So there's a, there's no cellophane here on this deck. It just kind of comes uh, like this, and it has an outer sleeve on it. So I guess I'll just touch base on the outer sleeve real quick. So it's, it's this black piece right here in the middle. It says Marvelous Decks. And then uh, it has this little texture kind of here in the middle. A little bit of a texture, little spots. And where it is, it's actually, I believe it's supposed to be the different suits. So we have like the hearts, the spades, the clubs, and the diamonds. A little bit hard to see, but I believe that's what those little cutouts are supposed to be. So nice little touch there. And at the bottom, we see the Marvelous Details of Life. Um, here on the bottom, the bottom of this flap here, designed in the USA, cards printed in Belgium on B9 Slimline Linen, packaging printed in the USA, and then MarvelousTex.com with the Marvelous logo there in the corner. And then on the back, we get little uh, hummingbirds, little hummingbirds to match the deck. And then premium quality playing cards, and then the little Marvelous logo. And at the very top, it says Marvelous Decks, a playing card experience. And then again, the four suits there. Uh, so a cool little uh, outer sleeve to hold everything together. Uh, it's a nice little touch that you don't see on a whole lot of decks. So that's a cool little feature. Uh, of course, it has a little cutout circle in the middle to show the hummingbird that's actually on the front of the tuck case itself. And so now let's get the sleeve off and take a better look at the, uh, the tuck case itself. And as I'm trying to work the sleeve off, uh, I do want to mention, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on future giveaways, reviews, unboxings, magic performances, tutorials, etc. All right, so I wiggled off the little sleeve there. So there it is. That's the little sleeve. Nice little touch on the deck itself. Uh, you can see there's no seal on there. And then the front of the box. This is the blue version, clearly. Uh, you can see it's this very, very nice, shiny holographic blue foil. Uh, blue holographic foil. And it has this really nice texture on it. Um, and it's just done in, you know, this pattern of the hummingbird feathers. They almost kind of look like shells. But apparently these are the, you know, what hummingbird feathers look like. Which I had no idea. But really nice shine and texture to them. Uh, really, really nice embossing on this as well. You can really feel the raised edges on this. It adds a really nice, luxurious look and feel to this deck. So that's going to be the front. Going on to the back, uh, it's going to be more of that same design. And then in the middle, we have the, the Hummingbird logo that we saw uh, from the sleeve, or we saw through with the sleeve earlier. And then here on one side, it says Hummingbird Feathers. The name of the deck and then again hummingbird feathers on the other side this is the hummingbird feathers deck at the top uh, we have the marvelousdecks.com website marvelous decks their logo and then marvelous official 2021 so this was a 2021 release released this year and then at the very top we have marvelous oh sorry this was the bottom this yeah this was the bottom of the deck and then the top has marvelous so that is the uh, the tuck case. Very nice, luxurious looking and feel. Uh, love the fact that it's embossed. Love the shine on it. Uh, very elegant, simple looking deck box. 
so very nice. And uh, no seal, mentioned that earlier. All right, and that comes out, and then we have the Marvelous logo again, the Marvelous Details of Life on the inside flap there, and then we open this up, and then on the inside you can see it's black all the way through on the inside of the tuck case, and then we have the Hummingbird, uh, two different Hummingbird logos here on the inside. All right, and then the duck itself is gonna be sealed in its own plastic, which is uh, common for Cardamundi. Very common for Cardamundi decks to come as such. All right, got the cellophane off the deck here. And uh, the first card we come to is a nice black border and it says it's black background as well with holographic foil. It says the marvelous details of life and the marvelous decks logo. So nice looking ad card, very luxurious looking. That's the ad card, and then, oh, there it is. There is the Hummingbird, and then Marvelous Decks, MarvelousDecks.com. So pretty cool looking ad card, I must say. That is a nice, nice looking ad card. And then there are the card backs. Full holographic foil, edge to edge, matching the uh, the design on the card box, which is the, the Hummingbird feathers done in that blue. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous in that blue colorway. You can see it's lighter or darker in some, you know, some angles. Almost looks like it could be greenish in some. And that is a really nice reflective uh, looking card back design. Love the fact that it's borderless as well. You get these really nice looking fans. Look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, it looks even better in person. I mean, I know it looks really, really good in camera right now, but in person, the shine is just, it's unbelievable. It looks really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so that is the card back design. I believe it's two-way. Ooh, it actually might be a subtle one-way. So it looks like it's actually a subtle one-way back design. So let me just randomly cut to somewhere in the middle. So yeah, it looks like it's a subtle, it's a very subtle one-way back design. So I do wish this was uh, in a clean two-way back design as opposed to one-way back design just because you can do some shuffles and things like that uh, and the, the orientation changes might mess up the, the look a little bit but maybe not too much. Maybe not too much with this kind of uh, consistent design throughout the way. All consistent design uh, you know, throughout the, the back design. but. I do wish it was a uh, two-way back design, just because this will trigger my OCD a little bit. But other than that, that is the back design. Moving on to the front, here we have the first card, the Ace of Spades. Got a giant spade in the middle, and then in the background we have, again, that blue holographic foil in the hummingbird feather design. And then here in the center we have the giant M with the circle, the Marvelous Dex logo, Marvelous Dex Hummingbird Feathers, MarvelousDex.com, and then the two Hummingbird logos there, also done in a holographic blue foil. And then we have the indexes here in the corner. Uh, they look pretty nice, no complaints there. Nice and small, recognizable. Um, and then it looks like they actually have a little bit of foil there as well in the indexes. A little bit hard to see on the Ace of Spades, but I think you'll see it better. Yeah, so you'll see it better on some of these other cards. The number cards, you'll definitely see that a little bit better as well. Um, so pretty standard pip placement. And then you'll see that the pips do have that holographic foil applied to them just to help them shine a little bit, which is nice. And then very subtle in the background, you have Marvelous written there, uh, also done in holographic foil. Just a very subtle outline there in the back. So a nice little touch to that. You see it really shines through on the, the 10 there. Ooh, yes, and here we get to the, the court cards. So here we can see nice semi-custom court cards. I really do like the uh, the redone colorways. A lot more blue on there. Just kind of done like a blue with black and white colorway. And then just covered in this holographic foil. So it's really, really nice and uh, recognizable and then of course we have some nice touches like the hummingbird with the feathers and the redone colorways and then the uh the foil just makes it really really pop so it's just gorgeous gorgeous looking 
uh, the Ace of Diamonds. Look at that, nice little hummingbird. I love the fact that the indexes are done in a blue holographic foil, and that's gonna make them really stand out and pop. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous, look at that. Damn, I kind of wish the blacks were done like this too, as opposed to just the reds, just because of how nice this looks. Look at that, that's gorgeous. All right, and then again, here we come to the court cards for the diamonds. Same thing as before, so they're very recognizable for card games, things like that. And then we done colorways. Do like the hummingbird again on the queen. So those are very nice looking courts. Another hummingbird design on the ace of clubs, holographic foil. And yeah, the, the black, the, the pips do pop a little bit, not as much as you know, the red pips that are redone in blue, but uh, nice little touch there. Let's see them shine, that's nice. Again, we got the semi custom for the clubs. Nice consistent theme. So, apparently, on all the queens, we'll see that hummingbird with the flower on the queen. King's got the marvelous logo there on his chest, which is nice. But look at that shine. Look at that shine. Ace of Hearts. Another hummingbird done in holographic foil. And then there are the hearts, the colored cards, and all its glory for the hearts. Love it. Gorgeous. And then these are the heart court cards. You notice that the order goes ace to king for all the suits, regardless of. Uh, so it's not exactly US BCC New Deck order ace to king, ace to king, ace to king, ace to king, which I actually prefer. I actually like this order ace to king. Uh, throughout the deck just makes things a little bit more consistent so Just something I wanted to point out and then we get to the jokers. All right, so first joker uh, he's holding like Hummingbird feeders <laughs> and they've got some hummingbirds flying around him in the background and then certain parts like his his hat his sleeves uh, His belt and his shoes are gonna be in that nice blue holographic foil very nice <laughs> And then the second Joker, he's uh, he's wearing a funny little hat that also has these bird feeders on. Um, got the hummingbirds in the background as well, and the holographic foil. Very cool, creative Jokers. Um, I like it. I like him a lot. And then we have a double backer for magic. So those are the card fronts. Now let's talk about the stock. The stock is printed by Cardamundi on their B9 Slimline linen stock which if I remember correctly it's gonna feel really good probably my favorite stock out there right now yeah that feels absolutely amazing feels really good and clean in a dribble and then the spring the cards feel so so soft like super super soft and they feel really good broken in right out of the box uh, edges are nice and clean cleanly cut and as always, Cardamundi registration, like I have no issues with the printing and the registration of their decks either. So uh, fans super smooth and evenly, as you can tell. No issues whatsoever fanning this deck. Absolutely gorgeous and smooth, effortless fanning. Look at that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, one of my favorite stocks out there, Cardamundi B9. Love it. And uh, let's see if I can figure out the cut. This does feel a little rough trying to pharaoh face down like this. So it feels like it actually might be a modern cut deck of cards. Yeah, look at that pharaoh's face up like this like butter. So to me, this is a... Uh, it feels like it's a modern cut deck of cards, which isn't great. I prefer my cards to be traditionally cut, but not a huge deal. Just uh, my little preference there. But other than that, the stock itself feels absolutely amazing though, and it feels really, really smooth once you get it going the right way. Um, I do want to see this. While we're here, <laughs> we'll do a giant fan while we're at it. So, oops. So that looks really nice, but yeah, that's, the stock feels absolutely amazing. Cardistry for magic, for all that good stuff. Really gorgeous looking deck. Feels amazing. Love the holographic foil on the back. Uh, like the hollow faces. Semi custom court cards are nice with the hollow. This deck feels just so, so nice. Look at that. Yeah. 
God, I have to say, Carter Moody's stock right now is just, it feels the best in the world, I have to say. I don't think there's a single stock out there that feels better than Carter Mundi B9 slimline stock. Fanning wise, cardistry wise, uh, just it feels so, so good. Can't beat it, to be honest. But yeah, there you have it. That is the Hummingbird Feathers in Blue by Marvelous Dex. You can get yours right now. Comes in standard, non gilded, three different colorways blue, red, or purple. You can also get them gilded in each of those respective colors. Get them from MarvelousDecks.com. Link is going to be down in the video description if you guys want to check that out. I highly recommend it. While you're there, check out their 2020 decks as well because those are awesome. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this uh, for this deck review. And uh, let's figure out who won the Genesis Cargo deck from last week's video. All right, guys, let's figure out who the winner is from last week's video. Here we're going to do one entry per user. We'll grab those comments from the YouTube video. There's 24 comments, and the winner is going to be dun, 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 dun. Danny Rivera. Congratulations, Danny Rivera. He says, big fan of the customizations done to every single card face and the almost traditional feel to the deck. Custom enough to make a whole lot of fun. Definitely hoping to win this one. Congratulations, Danny. You have won yourself a brand new Genesis deck by Cardvo. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. Uh, here's my information on the front page. And for the folks who didn't win, you can go to Cardvo.com and pick up your own Genesis deck there. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because I do do occasional deck giveaways. That way you guys don't miss out on my future giveaways. Thanks for watching as always guys. I hope you guys are all staying safe and I hope to see you on my next video. Peace.